This is Business Today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sandy Dean. The International Monetary Fund says there's no getting away from the fact that the tourism sector should carry its fair share of the tax burden. The fund's deputy division chief for the Caribbean, Vert Van Selm, endorses the recent tax measures imposed on the sector by the Mayor Motley administration. These include a range of levies on hotel room rates and a hike in the value added tax rate, which will take effect in January 2020. Tourism is the main industry in the island, and so it has to contribute to, to taxation, which will then also uh, allow the government to, to invest in infrastructure that is necessary to run the island. You can't have uh, your key industry, your main industry, uh, uh, on, in an economy contributing next to nothing to, to tax revenue. That's not going to work. So the, the, the initiatives that the government puts in place, like the higher room rates and the higher departure taxes, we think uh, go in the right direction. Over the longer term, you can think about uh, you know, uh, using more common tax methods like uh, value-added taxation and uh, expanding the coverage of the value-added tax to tourism. But as an interim measure, we think these are good steps. Burger King says its investment in the local economy has been growing and it intends to do even more. Recently, the restaurant opened location number six at Holton St. James, and a company director Everett Eastman said not only has Burger King generated more employment, but it has continued to provide more opportunities for local suppliers of goods and services. Our capital injection in our operating plant of approximately $8 million has provided opportunities for local businesses to supply and or maintain our operating plant and technologies. If therefore set the record straight that our operations in Barbados are a significant contributor to, the, to this country by way of employment, the payment of unduly high taxes on imports, and opportunities for local suppliers of goods and services. One significant area of our contribution is of course in the agricultural and poultry industry in which we also support small farmers. At the same time, Chairman of Restaurants Associates Limited, Ralph Busy Williams, made it clear that Burger King is big on local businesses and he wants farmers to step up to the plate to provide more of the restaurant's needs. We have been trying since we started this, this uh, road with Burger King to persuade the local chicken processors to produce the chicken patties that we need and they have Steadily, they've, they've refused to do so all along. We just have specifications that we that we have to meet for Burger King standards, and we cannot back off of those specifications. So I hope that people won't start saying that busy one hog all when they force us to set up our own processing plant. Consumers won't be paying any more for their favorite foods on Chefret restaurants at this time. The company's managing director, Ryan Halut, told Barbados Today that while packaging costs have increased with the ban on the importation of single-use plastics, Chefret will be footing the bill, not the consumer. As we always do, we try to hold our prices as long as we can. So we have no plans to raise prices because of that right now. So we haven't raised prices because of the packaging cost of increase and so on. We just absorb that. Caribbean Airlines has launched a new direct twice-weekly service between Bridgetown and Kingston, and according to Tourism Minister Kerry Simmons, with Barbados welcoming some 9,000 Jamaican guests last year, he's expecting a new service to boost commercial activity between the two countries. The linkage between Bridgetown, Barbados, and Kingston, Jamaica in about two and a half hours for an average Barbadian who is seeking to do some business in Jamaica at whatever level of the economic ladder that person may be, is an essential and important thing. The, 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 the ease of facilitating business so that you do not have to go through customs twice for one trip um, between Barbados and Jamaica because you had to stop off at somewhere, some other port is an important thing for the facilitation of business um, in Barbados. And now for today's financial tip. Do you want to learn more customers? 
why not start a referral or a reward program for your existing customers? The more people they refer to you, the more free products, services, and discounts they will enjoy. The reward should be large enough to trigger their interest and make them take action. It's a win-win method that always works. That's been The Business Today. You can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Sandy Dean.